Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Bill Blessed. I'm uh, running for mayor of Newcastle. This statement is going to be short. I'm running for uh, mayor of Newcastle. For those that don't know me, uh, I'll describe a little bit of my credentials as mayor. I've been a resident of Newcastle for 38 years and have a degree in business administration from Wilmington College. I have experience with the city government process. I served in Newcastle City Council for 12 years and four of those years was president of council. My additional experience includes the Lake and Local Government, Delaware Association of uh, Public Administration, as president and treasurer of the Newcastle Hunter Lions Club, coordinator of Meals on Wheels at my church, co-chairman of the United Way for Occidental Chemical Corporation, and my military service, both active Air Force and part-time with the Delaware Air National Guard, total 28 years. As mayor, my goal would be to work with council in a civil and collaborative manner to create a safe, clean, and pros prosperous environment for all our residents. Many of the issues facing the city cannot be resolved. Some of these things that we're uh, going to address with, was what the, the candidates talked about tonight somewhat. Uh, many of the issues facing the city cannot be resolved by cooperating without the cooperation of the county and the state of the Department of Transportation. For example, the flooding, traffic, car and rails. We need, we need the, uh, the cooperation of the state that fix some of our speeding problems, or the uh, traffic problems. As for uh, development, the way to manage change is to have a good, good laws, regulations in place. Change is inevitable but it's not always easy. The city is very fortunate that we have residents willing to serve on commissions and boards who are talented individuals and serve strictly for the love of our town. I support a diverse and thriving downtown and at the same time, I like to safeguard our history. And I'm fortunate that I have the support of and endorsement of some of our top leaders. Leaders such as Mayor Mike Caranta, the president of council, Mike Flatt, he was here, I think he left. And the president of the trustees, Pete Toner, all have supported my campaign. I would appreciate your vote on April 15th. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to everyone who is here in person or watching online. I want to thank Newcastle City Topics and their assistance for hosting the forum, as well as the Senior Center for pro providing a venue. The city of Newcastle is a jewel, the entire city, not just the downtown. We know this because multiple generations of families continue to live in our neighborhoods. Some may move away, but many return. We also know of neighbors who have visited our city and then returned to live here. We are lucky to have MSC as our electric and water provider. When other areas of the county have no electric after the storms, our lights are still on. We have dedicated city employees who pick up our trash, yard waste, and recycling, as well as do other maintenance throughout the city. They know us. We know them. They are not strangers. The Newcastle City Police Department is run exceptionally well by Chief McCabe, and we have more police per capita than surrounding areas. Our response times are excellent, and there are programs that have been implemented for the benefit of the community. With all of that said, we are still a work in progress and have been since our founding. My desire to serve on council originated with my desire to protect my new home value. But protecting my home value wasn't just for me. It means working to collectively protect the value of all homes and businesses throughout our city. I feel that the experience of these last six years on council and my familiarity with current and future issues add significant value to being able to continue my focus. I've been actively involved both directly and indirectly in nearly every event or nonprofit for many years and my service has allowed me to interface with many of our commissions. At the meet and greet last night I was asked, if you had a magic wand and could wave it over the city, what would you ask for? While not a direct quote, I answered that I would wish to have all the streets in top quality condition <laughs> and that there would be positive cohesiveness and collaboration throughout the city. And to that I would add that the GPS 
with direct off truck traffic somewhere else, but that's a different thing. Unfortunately, we do not have a magic wand, and we must work together to attend to the many factors that will help improve safety and the quality of life in our city. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at ValerieLeeryForMayor at gmail.com, and I thank you for your time and attention.